All right, coming into camp, here are the things I want to talk about. Number one is stance width. In the game of football, we need our feet up and under us for balance, leverage, power, and mobility. That's pretty much all the four levers of football, right? Um, that dictates a normal snapping stance. You're going to want to have your feet a little bit wider than the shoulders, okay? When we're snapping footballs, we generally want four to six, maybe if you're long limb like you, maybe eight inches wider than your regular stance. We just need more clearance between the legs so we can make an unrestricted, uninhibited throw down and through. In your case, we think you were coming in a little bit wide, and that can lead to a lot of problems. One thing we saw on film at lunch is you were kind of on the outside of your feet, okay? Uh, first of all, you need a stable base. You need to be on the balls of your feet. Second of all, the wider you get, the harder it is to sit down in the stance, which means your center of gravity is going to creep higher. You're going to lose a lot of battles having a high center of gravity on the football field. When you sit in the stance being too wide, you're going to tend to create a lot of tension in the hip flexors. Pressure, that's going to tighten you up and slow you down and weaken your snap. The higher you get, the wider you get, the harder it is to get balanced. And also your leg drive, no matter how good it is, is going to tend to be straight up into the hips and die rather than being back towards the target a little bit where we can capture that lower body motion energy and use it to help accelerate the football to the target. Finally, the wider you get, you're not going to have any mobility after the snap. And the wider you get, the more likely you are to have your knees locked at the finish. That's the quickest path to a short career in the game of football. Okay, so let's do a couple things. One, let's get those feet up and under you a little bit. The adjustment wasn't huge, if you recall, just maybe an inch or two. And then the next thing let's do, let's rotate the heels inward a little bit. By pointing the toes slightly outward, which is the other way of saying that, the knees are out of the way, right? We're also on a very stable base, solid on the balls of the feet, that will allow us to drive back in the hips really effectively, almost like dodging an inside pitch when you're playing baseball. Next thing I want you to do is when you're getting into the stance, go ahead and sit down. Push those knees out over the toes so that you can maximize the space between the legs without necessarily getting your feet too wide. The important thing is no pressure on the hip flexors. We want load bearing on the quads, which is the most comfortable and potentially explosive place from which to begin your snap motion. Go ahead and set up. Let's see what the snap stance would look like now facing the camera. Let's just document that because I think we've already improved it a tremendous amount. Okay. Now you feel like you're on the balls of your feet instead of rolling out on your ankles like you were earlier, right? The important thing is that the knees are a little wider than the shoulders, indicating we've got plenty of operating room, and there's no pressure in the hip flexors. You feel the load bearing right there? Looking really solid. Go ahead and stand up. Step over here again. I'll tell you the other things we wanted to work on. Coming into camp, your whole head to tail platform, you were kind of hunkered down a little bit, a little too low to the ground. Not enough operating room, not big enough in the stance for a guy like you who's about six foot tall. You were setting up maybe 5'10ish. All right. The other thing was you're a little flat-footed. Again, how are you going to win a battle on the football field being flat-footed? Got to get on the balls of the feet. Got to shift those knees forward over the toes. Um, flat-footedness also a lot of times will make your leg drive straight vertical, again, where we can't capture that lower body motion energy and help accelerate the football. So let's go ahead and bring you on camera. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done. We did have you marked a slightly underextended. You were hunkered down too much. So you're too close to the ball, having a little bit too much bend in the elbow, okay? So when we elevated your platform about an inch, moved you further vertically from the ball, arm extension improved. That allowed us to give you more operating room and also to shift your weight properly, get you balanced, okay? Okay. Go ahead and set up. First thing I'm going to do is three-step you. You ready? Okay. I'm going to pull you forward. Gets knee bend to 90 or less, straightens the back, fully extends the arm. They're a little too enthusiastic there, wouldn't they? Lays you up maximizing operating room under your torso. Then I'm going to push you back into the hips towards your target. Notice it's not down to the ground, but back towards your target so the heels touch the ground, knees are over the toes, and you're solid on your feet. Feel good? Feel a little overstretched? Okay, go ahead and throw it. How's that feel? Pretty good. Really solid. Let's be sure when we snap we don't splay the legs out to the sidelines. You'll be sending energy that way instead of back towards your target. I'm going to go ahead and just put these cones around your heels just to make sure that we're not doing that, okay? It's called, I call it hobbling, but all right. Go ahead and set up. Okay, so coming in, you're a little too hunkered down, a little flat-footed. We took the head-to-tail platform, elevated it about an inch, then we took the ball, pulled it a little further forward, and shifted your weight forward till the knees were right over the toes. Let's make sure you're balanced by lifting the ball off the ground. Shift the weight, now set it down, you're solid on your feet. It's a great starting position. Give it a good hard throw. That ought to feel really good. Little on the heels in there. Alan, are you going, you're not at Allen High School, are you? 
No, it's uh, Allen Baseball Club. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. It's it's like, all right. I didn't think you were up north. You'd have been at Dallas last week. Let's get the other one too, Mike, if you don't mind, real quickly. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Now, if that feels too restrictive, we can move them out a little bit. Okay. Um, in fact, I think I would. Let's just give you kind of a frame of reference more than just making you feel freaked out. Okay, go ahead one more time. So we raised you up, shifted the weight to get you balanced, in this case forward. Now you're getting a little too forward, so let's just settle you back a touch. Good hard two-handed throw. Now I'd like you throwing with this hand too, so make sure you got positive fingertip grip and pressure. Throw, release, accelerate, and control with both hands. Go ahead. How's that feel? Good. Mike, that looks awesome. I mean, you're looking really, really fundamentally solid. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Um, we had you down this morning to be more aggressive with it, but now that we've got you set up right, I see that you're comfortable letting loose because everything goes where it should. Down the spine, through the hips, up the legs, into the hips, converges in an arrow point, and that arrow point's directed straight at your punter, so that's exactly where the ball's going, right in his gut. So you're looking really good. Okay, Mike. We got the stance width nailed down, so the pressure's on the quads, or the, the load bearing's on the quads, no pressure in the hip flexors, right? All right, go ahead and set up. What else we got going on? We got you balanced, not too deep, got the knees over the toes. You're getting a little short-armed, I think, as long as it doesn't pull weight forward. Let's give it a good two-handed throw. Feel solid? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Let's rotate. Feel good? Sit the end just a bit. That might be more comfortable, is it? Okay, good hard two-handed throw. Excellent.